As we reported yesterday in the first of a two-part series, Rutgers researchers have uncovered ancient human-looking footprints in Kenya, and they're also piecing together a broad picture of life on that landscape a million and a half years ago. As science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan explains, the work reflects a trend toward integrating an ecological perspective into evolutionary science. The human-looking footprints, thought to belong to an ancestral species called Homo erectus, were not the only tracks preserved at the Rutgers field site near Illaret, Kenya. There are hoof prints, most likely left by antelopes, according to anthropologist Jack Harris. We're finding everything from bird prints to footprints of hippos, large mammals, um, lion prints beautifully uh, preserved and it gives us a unique snapshot at one point in time of what animals were on that landscape. Though tightly focused in time, the emerging view covers a lot of ground and supports ecological and behavioral perspectives. We do survey over large areas of the, of the uh, geological dis deposits in, in this area what we can do is look at these large lateral deposits. In other words, great expanses that were laid down at one point in time, and then you can reconstruct the actual, you know, the ancient landscape from that. So we're not treating hominids or human-like creatures as something special. We're putting them into their animal communities. And I think that's uh, a, a, a new approach to getting better resolution to the framework that Darwin outlined in his Origin of Species and, and his other writings. The key evolutionary question raised by the footprints is what selective advantage came from walking the way we do a million and a half years ago? And at this time there's a climatic change to more drier conditions. So that means that the um, more watered parts of the, the more productive parts of the landscape with fruiting trees, um, tubers, um, places that would be good to scavenge for meat are further apart. Uh, some of my colleagues have, uh, have argued that endurance running would have, would have been um, an important way if they were um, incorporating more meat into their diet. Careful excavation continues at the Kenyan research site, which is also a school for two dozen or more undergraduates, like Kate Barber, every year. The school ran from mid-June to the end of July, and for nearly half of it we were in Illaret. We used paintbrushes and small chisels, and we worked down 10 centimeters at a time. It was a learning experience on so many levels, it really changed my life. Patrick Regan, NJN News. New Brunswick.